In the realm of creativity, where the mind's eye paints vivid landscapes and the soul's whispers are captured in ink, I once thrived. A writer by trade, I wove intricate tales that danced between the pages of my books, breathing life into characters and worlds born from the depths of my imagination. But now, I find myself adrift in a sea of silence, my words unheard, my presence unnoticed by those who once reveled in my stories. How did I come to this strange and solitary existence? Allow me to recount the tale, a journey that began in the chill of January, when the world was cloaked in the embrace of winter's frost. It was a longing for greatness that spurred me to action, a desire to pen a masterpiece that would stand the test of time. And so, with determination burning in my heart, I departed from the familiarity of my home in search of the perfect sanctuary for my creative endeavors. It was a quest that led me to a humble abode, a small and unassuming room tucked away from the bustle of the world. Yet, as I crossed the threshold, I felt a sense of serenity wash over me, a quietude that whispered of endless possibilities. The room itself was modest, furnished with only the essentials, a bed, a table, a chair, but it possessed an aura of tranquility that seemed tailor-made for a writer's contemplation. It was here, amidst the stillness of my newfound haven, that I resolved to embark on my literary odyssey. Days turned into weeks as I toiled away at my craft the rhythmic scratch of pen against paper a symphony of creativity. Each morning brought with it a renewed sense of purpose, each word a brushstroke on the canvas of my imagination. But as the days stretched into months, a shadow began to creep into the corners of my sanctuary, casting doubt upon the very fabric of my reality. It began with small, inconsequential events, a misplaced pen, a fleeting whisper in the night, but soon escalated into a series of unsettling occurrences that defied rational explanation. One day, as I sat at my desk, lost in the depths of my narrative, the sudden urge for a cup of coffee pulled me from my reverie. Setting down my pen, I ventured out into the world beyond my room, only to return and find my writing utensil vanished without a trace. It was a small inconvenience, easily dismissed, but it planted the seeds of doubt in my mind. That night, as I lay in bed, the silence of the room enveloping me like a shroud, I was startled awake by a voice, a voice that seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves. Who's there? I called out into the darkness, but there was no reply, no sign of anyone else in the room. It was as if the voice had never been, yet its echo lingered in the air, a spectral whisper haunting the edges of my consciousness. With each passing day, the veil between reality and illusion grew ever thinner, until I found myself teetering on the precipice of madness. Yet still, I pressed on, determined to see my vision through to its fruition. But then, one fateful day, I glanced into the mirror that adorned the room's wall and what I saw shattered the fragile illusion of normalcy that I had clung to so desperately. Reflected back at me was not my own visage, but that of another, a man with a beard, a stranger in my own reflection. I blinked in disbelief, convinced that it was nothing more than a trick of the light, a figment of my overactive imagination. But when I looked again, 
the image remained unchanged, the stranger's eyes meeting mine with a gaze that sent shivers down my spine. Terrified and bewildered, I stumbled back from the mirror, the cold touch of fear creeping into my veins. What was happening to me? Was I losing my grip on reality, or was something more sinister at play? Unable to make sense of the chaos unfolding around me, I resolved to leave the room behind and seek solace in the familiarity of the world beyond. Gathering my belongings, I made to depart, but as I reached for the doorknob, a voice, a voice that was not my own, pierced the silence. You will never leave here, it whispered, sending a chill down my spine. I turned to find the source of the sound, but there was no one there, only the empty expanse of the room stretched out before me. With a sense of mounting dread, I realized that I was trapped, ensnared in a web of my own making. The other man, the interloper who had usurped my identity, held sway over my fate, his presence a constant reminder of my own insignificance. And as I watched helplessly, he took up my pen, his hand moving with a fluidity that was not his own transcribing my thoughts onto the page with a skill that mirrored my own. Desperate and alone, I cried out for salvation, for someone, anyone, to rescue me from this waking nightmare. But my pleas fell on deaf ears, drowned out by the silence that surrounded me. And then, just when I thought all hope was lost, a familiar voice echoed through the darkness, a friend come to visit, unaware of the horrors that lurked within. With a surge of hope, I called out to my friend, but my voice was lost in the void, swallowed by the shadows that clung to the edges of the room. And as my friend entered, he saw only the other man, the imposter who wore my face like a mask. Oblivious to my presence, he exchanged pleasantries with the stranger, unaware of the silent scream that echoed within the depths of my soul. And so, dear reader, I find myself trapped in a twisted reality of my own making, a prisoner in a room that is no longer mine. The other man, the usurper who now holds sway over my life, may think himself victorious, but he underestimates one crucial fact. I am a writer, and as long as there are words left unspoken, I will find a way to reclaim my voice, to tell my story, and to break free from the shackles that bind me.